Currently in the United States, there are 19 million people who have substance use disorder. That's 8% of the population. And in the last couple of years, substance abuse treatment has really started to think about how AI can play a role. So we're trying to create technologies that can help people in health, mental health, and social service spaces do their jobs better. In the context of substance abuse treatment, people oftentimes need a place where they can go that's a physical brick and mortar facility where they can go and have a controlled environment so that they can get clean and sober before they come back into the world. So a number of apps that are trying to utilize AI to try to help connect addicts with one another, helping them to try to access resources that are in the community, because once you leave that treatment facility, you're really kind of on your own. So there's things like Sober Grid and Addict Aid. And we're also trying to build out new programs like interventions that are about helping people deal with trauma. One of the biggest predictors of why people will relapse is that they have unaddressed trauma. When you go back to your normal life outside of a rehab facility, that trauma is still there. And when the triggers for that trauma come up in your life, it's very easy to slip back and have a relapse into your substance of choice. Also, there's not a lot that can be done for folks in the current world of substance abuse treatment other than trying to help people while they're in treatment facilities and then say to them, okay, go engage in some 12-step programs and good luck to you. So some of the things that we're thinking about in some of our research is really how we can use big data that has been collected across the country over time as people have gone through substance abuse treatment facilities to try to do what we call predictive analytics. So predictive analytics are something like Google search. Google search guesses what you want before you actually finish typing in your sentence. So what we want to do in the context of substance abuse treatment is to try to use this data to predict who's going to relapse. So that then the idea would be instead of saying to somebody when they leave treatment, hey, good luck, go to some 12-step meetings. We could be using AI and machine learning. We might be able to identify people who are more likely to relapse than other people and target them for extra services so that when they leave treatment, we can try to engage them in something more. 